Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, for today's tutorial, it's going to be on this look right here. I did include the full face just in case you are wondering, but I'm mainly focusing on the eyes. Um, I saw this picture a while back. I don't know if it was on like Facebook or Pinterest or whatever, but ever since then, like I just could not get it out of my head. So I wanted to kind of recreate it for you guys. Um, yeah, so if you want to see how to get this dark, smoky, brown look, then let's just jump in. Okay guys, so we're first going to start out with our tape. You know this is a staple for me. I can't do a winged liner and smoky eye without my tape. Put some concealer on my lids just to cover up this discoloration. I have super, super dark eyelids. For today's look, I'm gonna be using my Lorac Pro palette. And to set down that concealer that we just put, I'm gonna be using the lightest shade in the palette. This one in the corner here, it's called Blank. And just setting down that concealer. transition shade I'm just gonna be taking the one called pink nude here from the top row and just putting this all in the crease just to deepen up that crease a little bit I'm gonna be taking the shade right beside that one we just used called clay and just placing that into the crease and across the lid I am gonna be taking it all the way across start off on the lid, I don't want to go in with the darkest brown that I'm going to use yet. I want to kind of build it up. So I'm going to start out with this cool taupe color here and just put this all over the lid. And then we'll go in with a darker shade after to really build up that smokiness. You just want to start small. You can always add more color, but you can't really take away. So you just want to add until it's the intensity that you're wanting. So I'm actually wanting the brown to be just a little bit darker, so I'm gonna hop over to my Morphe 35O palette, and I'm gonna be taking this shade here in the bottom row and just packing that on top of the other colors that we did pack on. I'm just gonna go back in with that pink nude color there and just use this to blend out those edges just so there is no harsh line where the dark brown starts. I'm going to move on to liner and to start the outer edge of my wings I'm just going to use this Ciate Fierce Flix Eye Liner. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag. Um, and I'm just going to start the outline of my wing with this. Take a liquid liner. I'm not even sure where this one came from. It doesn't even have the label on the bottle anymore. And fill in that wing. Excuse my faces that I might make. Now for the best part. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and add on a thin coat of mascara before we apply our falsies. For today's look, I'm going to be trying out the Allure Nicole Guerrero lashes. I haven't actually tried these yet. These are the number one, four, three. 
Um, super, super dramatic. So we'll see how this goes. I haven't ever tried these lashes before. Now to move on to the rest of the face, I'm gonna first start out by priming. And this is just the Hard Candy Shine Free Primer. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Um, for my T-zone, it really does a great job of mattifying your face. And then I like to use the NYX Pore Filler in my problematic areas, usually just beside my nose um, where I have the largest pores. And I like to press this in while also like kind of pulling down. I find that that's the best way I get it to fill in my pore a bit. So I'm gonna be trying out the new, um, well it's not new, but it's new to me, the Bye Bye Under Eye Illuminating Concealer. Um, I just usually use the regular one, like in the black tube, but I thought I would give this one a try. And then I'll just take my ring finger and blend that the rest of the way in to the skin. While that sets in there the rest of the way, I'm gonna do a little bit of color correcting and I'm gonna use my favorite, the NYX HD Studio Concealer in the green shade and just put this where I have a little bit of redness. And today I'm gonna go back to an oldie but a goodie, um, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. This is honestly probably my number one favorite drugstore foundation. I just absolutely love this stuff, especially in the summer, um, because like I said, with my oily skin, pretty much any foundation that I ever use, um, the, the oil on my skin just breaks it down and I get so greasy. And then I'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and blend it on out. in with my Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Concealer and just put this all underneath the eyes and again with my Beauty Blender and just blend that out. going in with my Laura Mercier setting powder I just can't get away from it and I'm just gonna set all the areas that we put the concealer to set the rest of my face I'm just gonna be taking my Neutrogena shine control powder I haven't used this in a minute but if you can't tell it is definitely a product that I love and I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and just pat this all over the rest of my face. For my contour today, I'm gonna to be taking the NYX blush in the shade Taupe, and obviously I've hit pan on this one too, but I do need to pick up another one because I love this for contouring. It is like the perfect shade for my skin tone. setting powder and just clean up that contour just a little bit finishes I'm gonna go ahead and dust away what's underneath my eyes so we can finish up that lower lash line so to get started on the lower lash line I'm just gonna take my Lorac palette again and go in with the shade clay with just a flat little definer brush and put that very close to the lower lash line just to start smoking this out. I take this e.l.f. Uh, crease brush, it's like a little mini blending brush, and just take again this um, cool taupe color and just smoke that out a little bit more. And as you can see, I'm kind of bringing it down a little bit lower than my actual lash line. That's just because I want it to be really smoky and I'm keeping the smokiness more towards the outer corner. Then I'm just gonna go back in and brush away the rest of that loose powder. I'm gonna go in and 
it just bronze up the skin a little bit more. And I'm gonna be using my favorite Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and a fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques mm, Multitask Brush. This is one of my favorites for bronzing. It's like the perfect shape um, and size. It just kind of gets right on in there. And this is my favorite, like, kind of natural bronzer. Um, the color is, like, perfect for my skin tone. It's not too, too deep. You guys, I just have to tell you about this. The Revolution Matte Blush. I used this for the first time in my last tutorial. And I'm obsessed. Like, I cannot stop using this. It is so, so pretty. And the formula, it just, it just works. And this is just a BH Cosmetics 110 brush. I need some lashes on the bottom. I'm gonna take the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot and just coat those lower lashes. Excuse my faces. And I have to get like so close to the mirror, like I can't see. I'm gonna take my Essence Lash and Brow Gel open in a new one today and set down these bad boys now for highlight I'm gonna go in first with my vintage um, highlight this came in last month's boxy charm I think it was boxy charm and I'm gonna be taking a real techniques the setting brush this is my all-time favorite highlighting brush make sure of both I think just to highlight those cheekbones. More of the pink one and just a tiny bit of the more brown one. Oh, that glow though. So for lips, I'm gonna be going in with the Maybelline Nude Thrill Lipstick. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. I hope that you guys like it just as much as I do. I'm honestly absolutely in love with the way that the eyes turned out. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell down below just so you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Of course, all products that I use will be listed in the description box. Um, in this video, I did try to like tell you guys a little bit more um, the products that I'm using and like the brushes and things like that just so you can get an idea but in case you missed it or you're just curious to know more everything of course will be listed in the description box and also my social media in case you want to head on over there and we can be friends over there too um yeah so thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video